I want to share with you a uh, shayla I received yesterday. A young lady called me up. She said she's been going to the Kaisel for um, 18 days um, to, for her shidduch, down for shidduch. And she wants to know, she was invited for Shabbos to her grandmother, and her grandmother really needs her. Right? Should she break her a streak, as it were, and um, and uh, go to her grandmother? Or she should try to... Um, Convince her grandmother that really she should uh, should let her go to the coastal for another three weeks until she finishes. And um, she told me that the, she really understood really the right thing was to go to her grandmother, but she wanted to know maybe she should hire someone else, etc. And I told her as follows: what I think is a really important uh, point, foundation in the Jewish religion. A lot of people are into things, you know, and the truth is. I started coming to the coast over 40 days um, for a certain reason to dive in for it. And I became actually what's called a walnut. A walnut. I was just introduced to this concept a few weeks ago. A walnut is somebody who is just nuts over the coast, the wall. Um, and it's just hard for me to dive in anywhere else now. I feel just such kadusha diving here. So that's really the primary reason I get here so early every morning because I just feel uh, connected to the Shekhinah diving here at the coastal. But um, we learn from Avram Avinu, a very, very important principle. Chazal tell us that Avram Avinu was in the middle of talking to God, like face to face, like I'm talking to you now. And um, then came three guests, and Avram Avinu said, excuse me, God, I need a break. I just have to go speak to these three Arabs who came by so I can give them some tongue, you know, some tongue sandwiches, some deli sandwiches. And Chazal teaches, Gadol haknas orchem yosem yikabal z'penei it's a greater thing to take care of guests than to talk to the Shechina, to be makabal to be in an intimate conversation with the Shechina itself. And this is a really, really important principle that what God wants us from us in this world. God wants us to talk to him. That's really important. Three times a day, converse with the Bori Olam. If you're on the level of prophecy, um, which nobody really is in this generation except for and people who are crazy and children, because I'll teach us, show them the But if you were once on the level of prophecy, then that was a very, very great mitzvah to engage in that. But even greater than that is just to do Haknas' Orchim. Beautiful idea here. I once ha- heard from Rabbi Pesach Kron. He said that um, he asked a few people if they could have any guests for Shabbos, three guests for Shabbos, right? Like Ram Rabino had three guests. Um, who would they choose? And people said, uh, Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov, or, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, Rabbi Kiv Eger, you know, the Vilna Gon and uh, the Shad Sari, or maybe, you know, Alei Menu and Rachli Menu, you know, and, and Sari Menu, Rivka maybe also. Um, and when Rav David Feinstein was asked, he said, I would have three poor people because those are the people who need it. And that's such an amazingly sensitive and, and, and true answer. If David Feinstein was somebody like, who cared about Jews, and the only thing that was important to him was what does the Torah say and doing it. And this is meant to be our outlook on, on life. So the most important thing for us is fulfilling Hashem's will in this world as expressed through the Torah. That's the most important thing. All these extras, like davening at the Kosal, or whatever it might be, I want to call it davening at the coastal is skula because it's an experience which elevates a person, can elevate a person to the highest levels. Right? Um, but it's not, it's an extra. Davening at coastal is an extra. Um, another good example, my wife and I hadn't had children for eight years. My daughter was born shortly after we got married. And for eight years, we didn't have children. And lo and behold, it was um, right before Shuas comes to our window, a bird's nest, Shluch Ken, and I looked at the halachas a little bit, and the hashkafas, <coughs> Midrashim, and the Kitzvi Arizal says that there's no segula to have children from Shluch Ken during Sphere Saomer, right? It says in, at the Zohar says that Habanim Tikach Lecha, Shalech Tishalech Haseim, Habanim Tikach Lecha, that a person who does Shluch Ken and they takes the bottom, eats the eggs that we had the, the eggs for um, Shuas um, lunch. I remember that year. Um, that it's a very big school to have children. Um, and so I 
Just for thinking, look, it's a couple more days till Shavuos. Let me wait until um, after Shavuos. And let me say after Shavuos, there's no school. We're waiting eight years for the children. So, um, so that, I'll wait. Anyway, I called up Ramosha Shapiro Zatal, whose yard site is coming up uh, soon. And it's probably passed ready by the time this year has aired on the 10th of Tavis. And he got very, very upset. He said, I'll tell. Tachshov, don't think like that. He said, and he quoted the pasuk, right? Right, right. So he said, do it right away. Don't delay. He said, and don't get involved with things that you don't understand. Okay, that was nice to reality check for Moshe Piros and so. Anyway, we did it, and we had the eggs on Shavuos day um, for our Suda, right? The dove eggs, quite tasty. And lo and behold, a few days later, another bird came, another bird came, another dove came and made a nest. We did it again. And Baruch Hashem, uh, uh, nine, ten months later, we had uh, our son, Chaim Yitzhak, a uh, uh, tremendous gift from Shemayim. So this is the rule of thumb in the Jewish religion, right? Don't be drawn after school. And this girl who called me, she knew, you know, she, she knew that this is the right thing. She just like had to hear it, you know. And I told her, definitely, without even the slightest shadow of a doubt, it's a bigger schos for your shaduchim to go to your grandmother and help her out and to, you know, to keep her company and, you know, to you know, she was sick to help and take care of her. That's definitely a greater schos than um, going to the coastal for forty days. Right? As Ramosha Moshe Sternbach told me, he said. It's a bigger schuss to cry once in tefillah than to go to the coast for 40 days. The um, Chazal tell us that all the gates are closed except for the gates of tears. And I, one time I went into a Moshe Sternbach, and before I said anything, he said, it won't work. Sorry, it just won't work. So what do you mean? He said, it won't work to daven for this, what, this particular Indian that you need, which I was about to ask him. He said, you need to cry. You need to cry. And that's it, right? He, he understood, or if Sternbach understands, that when it means that the gates are closed, unless you cry, it means that they're closed, you really have to cry. Because crying is the revealing the most inner, the most inner deepest feelings of our hearts to Hashem. And um, that's really, really important. That's the Ikra of Tefillah. You have to pour out your heart in front of Hashem. And we do that through crying. So all of us to try and cry, try and cry, and try our best to be totally given over to the Bar Elam and not to be drawn after school. We could do, we could do, we could come to the coast of 40 days. I highly recommend it. If you come and you want to um, come to the Minyan, which I dive in it, please um, find me here at the coastal, and I'll um, get you a pass into this beautiful Minyan, which is inside the tunnels opposite the Kodesh Kedoshim. Um, and um, if you're a woman, you can come in from the side. They'll give you an entrance there. Come in from the side. They dive downstairs. Um, but as important as it is, it's much more important to do the will of God as expressed with the ter- especially when it comes to Beit Avraham. This is what Avraham Vino has taught us. Even more important than talking to God face to face with prophecy is to take care of guests and to take care of people. So hopefully we should all be strong and be able to have the clearest, the greatest clarity we can in this area. Shem should help us. Amen. Kain Tirotza.